We got a box to open. Here it is. I'm gonna show you some B-roll so you can see it up close and a better angle with better lighting. All right, yes, as per the title of this video, we're talking about the new Adonis Awakens from Argos. Already loving this artwork. Everything is based on art with this collection here. Now what we do in this series is I take a new fragrance I have not smelled before, I know very little about, maybe nothing about, and I give you my first impressions live on camera, tell you what I get, how it smells, and then if I like it and it seems appropriate for what I have for the rest of the day, I will wear it. I'll give it a full wearing. I will come back later and give you an update on how it performed and how it smelled and developed and all that stuff so you can get a fairly comprehensive assessment, at least as much so as you can pack in one day or eight hours or something, of what a fragrance smells like and it's not going to be too different of an experience that you might have if you were to buy this and smell it for the first time. So that's what we're going to do with Adonis Awakens. We're going to get it out of this box. I love this style of these inner boxes here. We have red this time. And we'll go into all the lore and everything behind what this fragrance represents later. But for now, let's talk about just what it smells like. That's what this video is about. But I will show you this absolutely stunning bottle. These bottles never get old. Again, you're gonna see in the B-roll here, we have the same representation that we have on the front of the box, only hand-painted. Each one of these plates is hand-painted with the colors, with the detail. This looks stunning. This looks so beautiful. And you can see just how the quality of the metal here, it's raised and etched in all these, again, detailings of the clothing and the flowers and even you see your boy's ribs. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm gonna give this a spray on my arm and then we'll talk about what it smells like, we'll talk about the notes and we'll go from there. One thing to note with these caps is that the first time you get them, they can be a little bit tough to get off, which is not a bad thing. It means it's not coming off in transit or anything. And it might take, you know, three, four, five-ish times of on and off to kind of loosen it up, break it in so that it's easier to get off from there on out. But don't be alarmed that first time. It can be a little bit difficult and make sure not to press too hard when you're pushing it back down. It will click into place with a slight push, but too hard. I've seen people crack their bottles, so just be careful of that. You are pushing on a breakable substance, which is glass. Anyway, let's give this a spray. I don't know what to expect. I think it's going to be kind of a floral fragrance from what I've heard from what I've seen depicted, but let's see. Great atomizer, great distribution there. Okay. In the air, I'm getting rose, like a pretty thick and sweet rose, but with something dark backing it, something almost leathery, almost patchouli or earthy-like kind of rough around the edges. It's mostly sweet and dark and rich, but floral. There's a softness to it, but there is an edge. Let's smell it up close. Yeah, okay. I like this. Wow. Spices, there's a warmth here, but the floral quality is a little bit fresh. And there is that edge, there's a roughness here, there's something backing it that has texture, depth, and a little bit of darkness, but it's beautifully balanced. If you're not familiar with their previous release, which was called Palace Athene, I didn't do a full review of that fragrance, but I did do an interview with Christian talking all about it, you can check that out there. That fragrance was also a floral scent, but very heavily floral. A beautiful fragrance, I love it, my wife loves it, but a lot of people might find it feminine. Now, I heard this was gonna be a floral scent, I was a little bit confused, I'm like, man, another floral scent, okay, let's see what we got. This is, just for generic terms that will be easy to understand, this is gonna lean a little bit more masculine, if that is how you view your fragrances, and I know a lot of us do, but it is a floral personality. There's a, almost a chocolatey feel 
in the background. But let's talk about these notes. Let's see what we got. On the inside of the box, we have, oh, I unbuttoned my shirt by accident. Scandalous, looking like Adonis here on the cover. Top notes, bergamot, grapefruit, and pink pepper. Yeah, it's spicy, a little bit fresh, maybe some citrus, yeah. I think that's really contributing to what makes it fresh. Heart, Bulgarian rose, Sambac jasmine, vanilla, and raspberry. Yes, I am getting a bit of this fruity, sweet rose note that is a little creamy now that it's drying. Base notes, Mysore sandalwood, cashmere wood, rose absolute. I'm not sure what is giving it this slight roughness that I'm getting. It could be the cashmere wood. This is a different type of rose. This is not a, an everyday rose. This is not a rose that's gonna thrive in the summertime, I think. Again, there's a density here. There is a slight darkness. There's not an overt freshness here. So I would not wear this on a hot day outside. This is simply beautiful though. And it doesn't really remind me of anything else. When I first sprayed it in the air, very, 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 very minutely, I was reminded of the Siren from Curly Fragrance and Zaharoff as a part of the Z Creators project. That fragrance is discontinued, it's sold out, you cannot find it anywhere. But now that I'm smelling into it, that has faded. I can't explain it. There's a roughness here, but it's not like animalic or anything like that. It is mostly sweet, fruity, creamy, rose that's not overtly fresh it is a little spicy and warm that's the best way i can describe it right now i'm really enjoying this i think i enjoy it even more than palace athene which is a little bit more specific it is more floral forward more so than the other elements in there as it dries it gets a little bit more earthy with the vetiver and some patchouli and sandalwood, but it is mostly floral. This definitely has rose at the heart, but the other elements here are playing in a much more balanced way than I get out of Palace Athene, so it gives it a little bit more dimension, I would say. Not really what I expected. I like it a lot. I wanna see if there's any other notes that are written in the description here, more so than just what's in the note breakdown. This romantic scent is both opulent and timeless. Argos Adonis Awakens opens with bright bergamot, grapefruit, and pink peppercorn. It transitions beautifully into a bouquet of Bulgarian rose, sambac jasmine, creamy vanilla, chestnut, and juicy raspberry. Base notes of Mysore sandalwood, cashmere wood, rose absolute, okay. Chestnut, I think that's what I'm getting here. It is like a roasted feel, a slightly roasted nuttiness, and I think that might be what reminded me of the siren. I think that has chestnut in it as well. I'm sure you can tell I like it. I like it a lot. I am gonna wear it. What I have going on today, I have several hours here at home where I'll just be doing some work and helping out around the house and cleaning and whatnot with Grace. And then later I do have a gig. So I'm gonna wear this now. I'll see how Grace feels about it when she gets home in a little bit. I'll wear it to the gig. I'm pretty sure it's gonna last all night long. All his fragrances do, and this one I can already tell is quite diffusive and strong. And it seems like it's gonna have a great fixative nature and some great projection and sillage and all that stuff. So I'm gonna wear it. Luckily, the weather permits this. It is not very warm right now, even though it's the middle of June. We are having an unseasonably cool late spring at the moment. Very cloudy, still quite rainy. We're in the high 60s Fahrenheit. Maybe today is a little cooler. It might be in like the low to mid 60s today. So it's gonna work just fine. Gonna give it a wearing and I will report back either later on tonight or maybe tomorrow, but you'll see my face in about a second and for me it'll be many hours. So let's put it on. I'm gonna go a little conservative as I like to do with strong fragrances that I'm wearing for the first time. So we're gonna do one, two, three. I'm gonna do three for now. I'll wait and see what Grace thinks when she gets home. If she likes it, which I think she will, I'll apply a few more sprays before I go out to my gig, which is literally in like six hours. <laughs> so I have a lot of time before then. Anyway, talk soon. We are back with dramatic lighting. Yes, I'm back with an update on Adonis Awakens from the House of Argos. And yeah, I've spent all day with it, at least most of the afternoon and all of this evening. It is after midnight now. I believe I shot that first segment at least nine hours ago. And as I expected, this thing performs well. It sticks around on the skin. 
It leaves a beautiful trail. It kind of leaves a cloud and I sprayed pretty conservatively. I did not put on a lot. As I said I would do, I did put on a couple more sprays before I went out. I actually did one on the back of the neck and then one inside each collar as I like to do with a collared shirt right on the bones here. It's a beautiful scent. I was still getting that slightly roasted, smoky, but very sweet, almost creamy, but fruity rose. Rose at the heart of it all. Really a beautiful rose fragrance. And I did have Grace smell it. When she came home, she smelled it on me and said I smelled really good, which I expected because I, I think it's stunning. I was sitting with it after I filmed the first segment, sitting with it. I was working, editing some video and just like loving the scent around me. I love this stuff. Now let's talk a little bit about how you would wear this. This is a fragrance I would reserve for the evening. It is a pretty strong and dense scent. It doesn't have a ton of freshness other than maybe up top you get a little bit of freshness, but it's mostly warm spicy with that rose, with this fruity raspberry, the creamy vanilla and this kind of roasted feel from that chestnut and some woodiness in the background that ultimately stays smooth. That little bit of an edge, as I mentioned, a little bit of a brashness or just some jaggedness to the scent. So because of the nature of the scent, because of the density of this profile, it is something I would wear when it's a little cooler, when I'm going to be out and I'm going to be a little bit more dressed up. Perfect for that. So fall evenings, spring evenings, maybe summer evenings if it's not too warm. And obviously I think this would do just fine in the winter. I do think it's perfectly unisex. Women and men could easily wear this. This is a rose fragrance that I think men could easily wear for those who might be a little bit squeamish with rose. Do not be afraid of this one. I have to say Argos has released three fragrances in the past year and a half or so, something like that. We had Dane which was wonderful. We had Palace Athene, which was wonderful. And we have Adonis Awakens. I want to say this is my favorite of the three so far. It has that Argos quality. It has that smoothness to it. It has that richness, the way it hangs in the air, the way it sits on the skin. It's here. This profile is a little bit more unique and a little bit more well-rounded in my opinion. I think it's wonderful. So if you're interested in checking out Adonis Awakens, I believe it will be included in the sample set. Do use my code FRESH10, get you a discount on any purchase from Argos that includes a sample set or full bottle if you are so daring. You know how I feel about that, but what you do with your money is what you do with your money. Anyway, by the time you see this video, if you have tried this already, I'm not sure exactly when it's released, but if you've tried it, let me know what you think. If you have interest in trying it, let me know that too. Let's talk about it down below. And I believe we'll be doing some kind of live stream very soon. Me and Christian Petrovich, the CEO and perfumer at Argos, will be doing a live stream. We'll be doing a giveaway. We're going to hear all about this fragrance. So more details on that coming very soon. But in the meantime, thank you so much for tuning in. Peace. I'll see you in the next one.